guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the much requested skincare video of what my morning skincare routine looks like. So the first thing I do when I wake up is do my skincare right away. You wanna get your face cleansed and get it moisturized and also get your hydration in first thing in the morning. So please note that if you're struggling with your skincare or your skin in any way, be sure to check with a specialist, dermatologist, doctor, whatever health healthcare provider, and they can help you assess what's going on with your skin. This is just purely educational. I'm just sharing with you guys what I found has worked for me. It's taken me about 10 years to get into a skincare routine that actually works, that helps my skin, doesn't cause breakouts, and I'm still learning and I'm still growing and there's still lots to, lots to learn. So we're gonna dive into today's video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe down below you guys if you aren't already subscribed because what are you doing? You gotta join the Sharway crew. And of course, comment down below. Let me know any products you guys love or if you like any of the products here in this video. We wanna chat, let me know. We can talk about it. All right, so something that I learned recently was that Cleansing is so important and it's something I never did. I was like, I don't need to cleanse. Like I wake up and my face is clean, right? Probably not. So I learned some really great beauty hacks from Hailey Bieber. Surprisingly, I don't know, I fell upon her YouTube channel and I was like, this girl's awesome. And her skincare routine just like made me learn things I didn't know about skincare. So I'm gonna share those things with you guys today. So first thing I did, I already cleansed my skin. So I used a lot of doTERRA's products. So they contain essential oils. They have lots of amazing ingredients. If you guys have questions about any of the skincare products, I won't talk about them too much, but uh, comment below or send me an email if you guys want to know more or you're looking to purchase your own skincare. I can also hook you up with that as well. So I use cleanser. I cleanse twice a day. So I cleanse morning and night. So I cleansed my face, did this, got this in this, um, cleanser has a bunch of essential oil in it so it's really nice to just kind of like take the night off because we sweat at night we have our face in our pillow so it's like not necessarily the cleanest environment so cleansing done second thing I do is I put on my Virage lotion face lotion so this is the Virage cleanser so I put like a drop in my hand and I rub it into my skin so Really important to get your eyelids because they will wrinkle with time and around your eyes as well. So ensuring that we're getting lots of moisture into these areas and then don't get your neck, your decollete, your collarbones, your chest. I kind of just pull everything down to ensure that you're getting the moisture in because um, all of this matters too because at all ages. So yeah. All right, so that's done. Next thing I do is I put on a heavier moisturizer. Um, my skin is very, very dry, so I'm probably more combination skin, but I find that I'm on the drier side where I have like oil in the T-zone, but I'm dry everywhere else. So I find that for me to prevent breakouts, I need more moisture than less moisture. So I'm like, and I'm into this like dewy, glowy thing, which I haven't quite nailed down yet. But um, what I do is I take some of this, I put it in my hand, I also put a little bit on my neck right here because you get like these lines in your neck. Sorry, I have like morning croaky voice. I've had no caffeine. I've been messing around my camera for like 20 minutes because it was being weird. Okay, so I put that into my uh, neck. So I keep this in my hand. Next thing I do is put Yarrow Palm. So this is a blue essential oil and I also put in blue tansy. So blue tansy, this little guy, just not even a drop, half a drop, is really great for evening your skin tone, helping with blemishes and just evening out everything. And then Yarrow Palm, Yarrow Palm is so moisturizing. It is like, comes in like an eyedropper, you can see. And then I put a couple of drops in here. So I'm gonna, this is what I call Smurf time, for my Smurf zone. And then I put some of the blue tansy in my hand. So it creates a blue, skin care being to see how it like overexposed light. So Yarrow Palm is really, really nourishing to the skin. It is so great for anti-aging. It's like the fountain of youth, they call it, or something like that. So I started using Yarrow Palm just because of the amazing skincare benefits for anti-aging, for moisture, 
for fine lines, that kind of stuff. Um, and I just really find that it helps to keep the moisture in my skin because, I, again, I tend to be just very, very dry. So I even that out. Put it everywhere. Woo. All right. So that's that. My overexposed white lighting. YouTube lighting. <laughs> All right. So that's done. So the next thing I do is put on SPF. So I used an Arbon Soft Veil Focus SPF and it has like a tint to it. So it's kind of like naturally, I want to say orangey, but yeah, that's good. So something I learned is that you need to make sure that you put SPF around your eyes because the skin around your eyes is so delicate and so um, fragile and even as I'm like getting older I'm not noticing I have like pigmentation happening here I don't have brown spots but I have pigmentation just from the sun and I was like how is this happening I always wear sunglasses and then I was driving <laughs> in my car home from Kelowna the other day ago and I realized and it's put on your on your lids as well so up here I realized that when I'm driving, the sun's hitting like the side of my face and my sunglasses are like peaked off my face. So like you can get the sun like in underneath. So I'm like, oh, that's what's happening is, or that's what, what's been happening for years, I think. <laughs> so then I just kind of dab this in just so you're getting that moisture. Cause this is a moisturizing, it has raspberry extract in it, but it's also giving you that SPF protection around your eyes. I'm gonna pat this in. I might grab a little bit more just because uh, I didn't get my neck. So again, just uh, getting it in. I'm gonna put, my skin is feeling really dry this morning. So what I do if it's more dry or if it's winter time, I have a uh, fractionated coconut oil. So always use only fractionated coconut oil. Do not use the hard stuff because it's way too much. And it'll make your skin break out. Even coconut oil might make your skin break out. So I'm just gonna dab this on. I just rubbed it between my hands and I'm just gonna put it on my skin. So it gives you kind of like a glowy look and it also gives you some moisture. I feel like my skin is like really thirsty this morning. Probably because I haven't drank enough water yet. So water is always key in your skincare. So like get moisture in, keep it locked in. All right, so that's that. It's got a little bit extra moisture. Um, coconut oil might not be your jam, so you can always use hope oil or almond oil, whatever kind of works for you. And then the next thing we do is oh, drink coffee, because we need coffee, um, is cover up any blemishes. So like I have like one here, which is from a zit that just like hasn't gone away yet. I don't know, oh, there's my, I'm just trying to find, my concealer. So I use Arbonne again for, um, so I use a few different ingredients. I really just love um, Arbonne's skincare, but I don't like their like skincare line. Like it doesn't really work for my skin. So again, it's just finding what works for your skin. Like not everyone's skin's the same. And we're just, you know, we just have to kind of, unfortunately as women, we have to play this like trial and error game of like, what are we putting on our skin and is it serving our skin or is it making our skin break out? So, you know, it all comes down to just figuring that out, which unfortunately costs money and I spent tons of money on skincare. <laughs> it's just, finally I found something that actually works. And the biggest thing is like hydration, your diet, and not picking your face. For me, hydration and diet help, but they don't do a lot. It's more so like the picking my face. I love to just like pick at zits because you know what? We all like to do it. Like, let's be honest. You can't tell me you don't like popping zits. <laughs> and if you don't, what are you doing over there? <laughs> so that's pretty much all I do. Like I don't do like a full face of makeup. I don't do brushes or dry powder or anything like a full face mask. I kind of have tint in my SPF and then I have my concealer for just like spot treatment. And I don't usually wear mascara most days, some days I do. Um, but I tend to go for more of a natural look, so if makeup's your thing and you wanna do that, then you do that. 
I just, for me, this is just, this is just shard. And I just, you know, watch like, I watch The Bachelor and The Bachelorette and I'm like, how do they wear that much makeup every day? Blows my mind. And then the last thing I put on is um, I bought Cora Organics under eye cream. So this is her radiant eye oil. So it's supposed to be um, anti-aging and wrinkle prevention and moisturizing because your skin around your eyes gets very, very dry. So I've been using this for about two, three months and I don't know if it's, I think it's helping for sure because anytime you can get moisture under your eye um, is a huge asset. This is also contains caffeine, so it helps with bags. Um, but if I'm baggy, I will uh, I will gouache on my face, which if you guys want to see a full gouache video, comment down below and like this video so I know. Um, so yeah, that I potentially put that around. I want to buy her Noni Glow Face Oil, which is meant to go on your whole face, which I am hoping to replace with my coconut oil. So as you guys can see, this is also like, you know, trial and error for me where I'm figuring out what works, what I can add. I want to add more to my skincare routine, but right now it's working. The biggest thing for me was to try and get away from the breakouts besides hormonal breakouts because you will always experience hormonal breakouts if you're prone to them. Some women don't. It just really depends on your makeup, your, not your actual makeup, like your genetic makeup, your your cells, your DNA, skin health and, and skin vitality is kind of, it is passed down genetically. So you do have a predisposition to how your skin is just like anything else, like your weight, your body, whatever. So, um, it's not necessarily always a way to get around these things. It's just kind of working with what you have. So honoring that, honoring the beauty that you have and honoring that when we do our skincare, we're self-loving and we're self-caring and we're not self-sabotaging and hating our skin. Cause that can be something that like, I know I personally struggled with for a long time was like, Oh, like I'm like putting this on and like my skin's so uneven and it's like, I have this zit and I'm like so ugly. And like, you have these like horrible thoughts about yourself around your skin. And we have to learn to honor the skin that we're in and honor how beautiful we are. So that's what I've been working on and doing. So yeah, when you hit 30, you get a lot more humble and there's a lot more grace in life. <laughs> but yeah, that is my morning skincare routine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like the video down below, comment, subscribe, and follow me along on Instagram so you can see all of the updates for when new videos go live. Thanks so much, you guys. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.